What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Elite and today I'm going to bring the flashback Boateng for Syria and I Rosaneri, which was also a requirement for the last flashback SBC. Very similar requirements within the window as well, but the flashback Boateng card actually is pretty solid at 87 rated and he's also almost part of the Hullet Club. His only stat below 80 is 78 defense, which is also still pretty solid. So it's a really good card in game. You can definitely tell that by his base stats. The problem with the card is definitely going to be with linking. Unless you have like a full Serie A team, it's going to be tough to link Boateng into your squad being from Ghana and being from Sampdoria. Those are pretty tough, uh, you know, aspects, characteristics to link with in a squad, especially if you're trying to go with a hybrid. So that is the only issue with the card. Nonetheless, if you do have a Serie A team, this is a great card to go for. So with that being said, let's hop into the requirements and the cheapest solution. We've got one Serie A player needed, one Team of the Week player needed, an 85 overall rating, and 80 chemistry. Given the fact that this is the 85 chem and the Team of the Week requirement, Serie A is definitely going to be the more expensive window than I, Rosaneri. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know, Italian viewers, if I, I'm even close. Uh, nonetheless, you get a 45k pack in return for this squad. And it is the bare cheapest solution, as always, on my channel. Guys, if this helps you out, drop a sub to the channel, drop a like to the video. Those are both free things to do. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Here are the players that you're going to need. Navas is going to be the most expensive player, given the fact that he has the highest rated card as well. But he's actually more expensive than the inform that we use later in the squad. He's about 20k. The inform's about 18,000 coins. So it's actually uh, the most expensive player in the squad. Next up, we're going to go with Raul Albiol. Going him at left back. He's there because we need a Serie A player. And we've got to go ahead and link him with the... Spanish players from La Liga and so I do that by going with Nacho Fernandez and then we can go into the non-Spanish players in La Liga like Jimenez and Benzema. We actually play Benzema out of position over at right back. So you can go with Benzema here or you can actually go with uh, I believe Norberto Neto works here too. Pretty much any 84 rated from La Liga, Benzema and Neto are both pretty cheap cards. And I think Sergio Asenio is also one of the cheapest as well. So you can go with any of those guys, actually, and it'll work just fine. Next up, we're going to go with Iniesta at left center defensive mid as an 87 rated card. He is about 500 coins cheaper than Navas, according uh, to Footbin right now. Because how I actually find these cheapest solutions, guys, is I'll go to Footbin. And I'll figure out what are the cheapest cards from each rating. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. And based on what they give you on Footbin, and here's the problem. Footbin's pretty inaccurate a lot of the time, especially if you go to the squad building challenge section. It's way, way, way off. Um, so you got to be careful. So you got to kind of double check the cards. Um, obviously, with my knowledge of the market, I know that Iniesta and Navas are normally some of the cheapest 87s in the game so i know that 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 part is accurate navas is gonna be around twenty thousand coins guys uh, and we're talking his gold card we're not talking his blue uh and you can tell right by the those cards right there that the fact that they don't have a bid on them at 20k um kind of uh, explains it all um so given the fact that we do go with like three more expensive cards in this team you're gonna have any you're gonna have navas and you're gonna have the informed batshuayi uh spoiler alert that's going to be our striker. That adds up to about 57,000 coins in total. But that allows you to go for the rest of the squad with 83s and 84 rated cards, which saves you a ton of money because the difference between 84 and 85 rated cards right now is huge. 85 rated cards are all 10K plus. I think the cheapest are like Zlatan and Allison, and they're like 9.5 thousand coins. But 84s are like two to four thousand coins depending on the position in the in the nation like albiola is one of the closer to 4k but when it comes to like benzema he's closer to like 2.5 three thousand coins so that's what i'm saying it's way cheaper to go with these 84s so as we complete the rest of the squad, it only adds up to like 80,000 and maybe 85K. While if you went with all 85 rated cards and two 84s, it would add up to like 95 to 110,000 coins. Saves you a lot of money this way, guys. Next up, we're going to go with William Carvalho. And then at center mid, we're going to go with Alara Mendy. And full disclosure, no loyalty, no position change needed. You never need to go with loyalty 
on, on these kinds of SBCs. If somebody's telling you to go with loyalty, then they don't know what they're doing because there's no reason to spend your time doing a loyalty glitch to save 500 coins, guys. Time is money as well, guys, and I think that's what a lot of people don't uh, consider when doing the cheapest solution. And if you need position change cards, that should be factored into the price as well, which you don't need any position change cards for this SBC either. We're going to go with Saul at the left cam, and then we're going to go with Batshuayi. He's our inform at striker and then we're gonna go with gerard moreno at right attacking midfielder as you guys can see doesn't exactly get the chemistry you need quite yet but if you switch around those strikers then you've got it i don't know what it does exactly it might just go ahead and give coke and Alara Mendy a plus one on, in, or I think it's actually the striker and Koke both get a plus one in terms of their chemistry just because of the strong green links, um, which actually gets the chemistry up by two. So plus one on Moreno and Koke, or not Koke, Saul. I'm used to Koke being that Atletico Madrid center mid. That's who was uh, the center mid at, uh, at Atletico Madrid that was Spanish last year. It's Saul this year. So if I said Koke, apologies for that. Um, Moving on to the next squad building challenge, though, guys. We've got ourselves I, Rose, and Neri. We need one Milan player, an 84 rating, and an 80 chemistry. So this one's a lot more straightforward. And you get a 35k pack, which arguably is better than a 45k pack. So you're definitely going to get more coins back in terms of the price to reward ratio on I, Rose, and Neri than you are on the first window, unless you get really lucky with your 45,000 coin pack. But let's go ahead and get into the players that you're going to need. Sergio Asenio, Jimenez, Langlet, Nacho Fernandez, Pepe Reina, William Carvalho, Vidal, Alara Mendy, Neto Rodrigo, and Lucas Vazquez. So let's go ahead and throw these guys in the squad. Sergio Asenio is going to play our goalkeeper. Then we're going to go with Jimenez at left back. It's always good to go with any of your out of position players at fullbacks because always fullbacks are more expensive. If you look at like right back in terms of La Liga, your choices are, you know, Mario Gaspar and uh, Juan Fran at like 79 and 80 rating. And then it shoots up to 84 rated Sergio Roberto and Carvajal. Those guys are way too expensive to go with the cheapest solution. So we just go ahead and throw our players like Jimenez at fullback. And he'll actually get some chemistry there. We're going to go with Langlet and Nacho Fernandez at center backs. And then we're going to go with another out of position at fullback. As I said, both of our fullbacks are going to be out of position. I think that's how it was for the last SBC too. And this is also going to be our Milan player. It's definitely cheapest to go with La Liga. You saw that in the last squad too. We went with La Liga. But we can link these players from Spain and from Milan, or in the last SBC, Raul Albiol, we can link those guys through a couple Spanish players. Uh, they won't really get the greatest chemistry because they're already out of position. I think he's going to end up on two chemistry, which is better than zero chemistry if he didn't have the Spanish links. But he's mostly there just because he'll link with the Spanish guys and help the Spanish guys uh, at center back and at uh, center mid end up getting a little more chemistry. Carvalho is going to play our CDM position. I accidentally misclicked there. Vidal is going to go ahead and play left center mid because we are going to need a couple of higher rated guys given the fact we went with 82 here and we went with a couple 83s here. We're going to have to go with 185 rated in the team. But for the rest of the squad, we only need 83s, 84s, and 182. That was Langlet at center back. Alara Mendy is going to play our right center mid position. Neto up at left wing, another out of position dude right there. Obviously, you go with players like Lucas Vasquez, but that's less rating. And honestly, we don't need the chemistry. We're not going to need any loyalty. We're not going to need any position change. And in fact, we actually go with Lucas Vasquez at right wing. So you can't go with Lucas Vasquez at left wing uh, on uh, on seven or I believe five chemistry it would be. But you can go with Neto there on two chem. And truthfully, you don't even need any links to this left wing card or any player in position it'll work just fine but what you are going to have to uh realize is that Vidal will be on lower chemistry most likely that way so you're going to have to go with somebody La Liga based but that's going to be it for the cheapest solution for the Boateng guys hopefully this video helped you out and if it did guys again drop a like and subscribe those are two very free things that you guys can do to support the channel guys you get a about, it will be 80,000 coins of packs in return, along with your flashback Boateng card. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.